Hey John, um, nice series. Um, one first comment I mentioned to Trina in the video I just posted on the blog. Uh, be careful about um, the size of your pictures when you post them. Uh, notice how small this is. And a blogger takes a full-size file and cuts it down for you to 1600 by 1200 pixels. And this looks more like three or 400 at the most by five or 550, something like that. Um, the picture should fill most of this frame and some. So, um, you know, check that in Photoshop, go image, image size, uh, see at what point in the workflow that you're making them tiny. In Trina's case, I think it was a matter of she was shooting with a phone and when she wanted to get the picture onto her computer she emailed the picture to herself and did not click um, a button someplace that says email full-size picture uh, <clears throat> so uh, yeah and when working with tiny pictures um, they lose sharpness they gain compression like JPEG artifacts and all kinds of nasty things happen so that said um, I like this Normally it's a difficult thing to shoot directly at the sun, um, but it's working here. It's working well, and uh, I like these wispy clouds and the contrast between all of this and the tree, as you say. And this one, um, I'm wondering which one I like better. I think I might like the first one better, uh, uncropped, I guess. So, okay. and. This is cool, the symbol, the Sabian symbol here. Um, whoops, hold on a second. My uh, phone just rang once, which was a good sign. That meant my spam filter, um, which I get as part of my phone service, uh, picked up that it was a spam call and killed it, so I didn't have to deal with it. <laughs> Um, if you don't know about spam filters um, for phones, uh, if you're getting a lot of junk calls, um, Nomo Robo, N-O-M-O-R-O-B-O, -O -O, was invented by uh, one of my fellow alums at RIT, and um, uh, it's, it's picked up by all the major um, phone carriers at this point, so you can just look into Nomo Robo if you're having any issue with spam phone calls. That aside, back to the, <laughs> back to here. Um, copy image. Let's see what this looks like in uh, File New. Photoshop, it's off screen right now. Create Control V. It looks like 640 by 480 is what you had here. So we can get to 1600 by 1200 and uh, it'll, I'll be able to see it better and be able to comment better. Um, focal point right here and this little bright spot out here is bright enough so if I I take the lasso and I lasso around our focal point like so and feather it way out okay and when I'm brightening things I use levels control L and just dial up the light a little bit just a small edit like that makes all the difference control D select and, um, you know, we're marrying focal point and light and design, and it all comes together here. Um, okay, so there's that. Uh, but I like how you filled the frame and moved in close, even more so with this one. They're both nice. Same idea. Um, come over here to Photoshop and paste it in. And I could even levels the whole thing and see what happens here. Although, see what happens when I do that. This bright area gets even brighter and is distracting. So I'm going to hit cancel and lasso up our focal point, not including that brightness there. Feather it out and hide the selection with a control H, control L, and bring up the light right on our focal point like that. And good. So simple, pretty nice. Um, I like this. Just catching a shadow on the wall. You know, it's just clean and simple and observant, and it's nice. So it wouldn't change anything. Um, this was interesting. Um, 
looks like a comic store. It could be your home, I guess. <laughs> but um, one thing I noticed between the small file size and uh, the low light, you're picking up a lot of noise. You see all these crunchy dots here in the shadows? That's called noise. Um, <clears throat> if you're shooting with a phone, that's one of the big downsides is that the sensor is tiny on a phone and because of the small sensor um, under low light conditions um, digital noise shows up and that's that's basically you know electrons jumping around that are extra to the picture and um, it's picked up by the sensor so one of the benefits of going to a DSLR is um, a larger sensor, a much larger sensor, like maybe 30 or 40 times larger than a phone has, and that becomes much less of a problem. One issue though there is the higher the ISO, that's the sensitivity, um, the more noise you can have. So that's something to look at in the specifications for a camera you might be considering. But I do like it. It's kind of dark, kind of mysterious, and I wouldn't, wouldn't even edit this to be lighter probably. Do like this, uh, but I would edit it for better. Uh, I think it's really cute with your wife cut off and the sunlight coming in. So I did paste it into Photoshop and, oops, wrong file here. Hold on, get rid of that. It's a little side job I have. And where is this? Right here. Okay. Um, right. So what I did was I. Um, when you shoot into the light, every lens, and again, if it's a cell phone, it's even worse, um, has something called camera flare. And flare is when sunlight hits the lens directly, it lowers the contrast dramatically so that blacks get all grayed out and foggy, everything gets foggy. Okay, and that's this lens flare here, which is considered to be a mistake and a, like a technical problem I actually like visually. Uh, but it also caused this problem. So I um, came in and um, selected, let me go back in history to where I pasted it in. I selected this area um, and dialed up the levels, actually the dialed up the levels on the whole thing first. I might as well go through this again. So let's just get started. I'm gonna, oops, paste this in, get rid of the history here. Hit Control L and see how the blacks come up short here. So I'm going to dial up the black right up to the edge of the mountain. And at the bottom, you can notice that it's starting to block up down in her um, sweater, sweatshirt. So I'm going to stop at that point, but I could still go further with these blacks. So I'm going to say OK and kind of select down here and then inverse the selection. And that gives me everything else selected. I want to be sure to feather it all always like that and then hit levels again. Control L, dial up more black and OK to that. Control D select. Maybe her eye in here. Just give that a tiny bit of a tweak. Feather that a little bit. Control H for hiding, Control L for levels. Bring up a little bit of detail in her eye. Don't let it get too light. So I'm bringing down the mid-tones as I bring up the highlight just a little bit. Don't want to overdo it because it's noisy again and it kind of needs to be in the shadows. Um, notice how orange her hand is. Um, that's oversaturation, so I'm going to go Control U and dial back the saturation. Get a more natural color on our hand there. Um, this whole side, I'm going to make the blacks a little blacker. Lasso, click Feather and Mask. I select and mask to feather it. Control L. Oops, it's the highlight side. There we go. So the blacks get blacker. We're never going to get detail in these blowouts here. You can see them up against the wall here. Um, but richening the blacks, that's a nice thing to do. So, and I call this like sculpture because like a sculptor chipping away at a stone, 
you make a change and then you step back and look at it, control H, control L, and that reveals other things that you need to do. There we go, that black is getting better. And control D. I'm gonna I may play with tweaking her eye a little more, but I think basically we've got it. You can see how different that is here. Or in our history that's always revealing to go back and see what it where it came from. Oops, even more back from here to here. All right. So shooting pictures is half the battle, and the other important thing is the editing. Um, another, as you get going in photography, um, I like this observation a lot, and I love the shape of the speckled light in here. Um, the blowout down here, though, is pulling our eye definitely away from the, the interest in the focal point here. Uh, more advanced shooting is called Camera Raw, R-A-W, and um, you can get a raw app for your phones these days, and um, any DSLR will have raw um, available to it, and many point-and-shoots even. And in RAW, you can control the highlights and the exposure much more dramatically. It's like having a digital negative, and um, you could dial back the power of all the light down here and quiet this down so that our eye can get uh, more hooked up with this focal point up here. So. Good job. Keep shooting. I like your shooting this week. Um, remember to make your pictures full size when you post them, and don't be afraid to do a little more editing here, and see you on the next one.